Good morning, y'all. So, I wanted to do a quick bird update, or just kind of general livestock update. Um, and, because it's been a while, and the flock is growing, and the herd is growing. And I haven't kept y'all in the loop. So let me walk over here and we're gonna show. So right now we've got, um, I think about 32 chickens from what I hatched and what we bought. Ranger, no. We did have a little bit more, but when we got the puppies, it took a few for them to learn not to eat the chickens. And now they're doing pretty good. So uh, these guys probably aren't gonna let me get too close, but you can see all through there and over here, we've got our chickens. And what kind, I have no idea. <laughs> um, I know we've got some cochins. Um, I think we've got some Orphingtons and uh, what else? I don't know. It's just a mix. And let me walk. Come on, guys. Let me walk around this tree. So we've been doing a lot around here. And, uh, you know, our goal is to be self-sufficient. So whatever we can do to get ourselves that way. But over here, we've got our broad-breasted turkeys and they've got about, I think about four more weeks before they get butchered. And then over here, we've got our other, or our original Catan sheep, well, second original Catan sheep. And then we got um, four more. So right now we've got two males and six females, I believe. And <clears throat> yeah, I love, I love having turkeys. Turkeys are the bomb and they're like little puppy dogs. They figure out that you feed them and they just want to follow you everywhere. Oh, and I have to show you guys because I'm super excited and I've been collecting them as they're ready. But we've got our mulberries are ready. And I feel like that's when I know Spring is almost at an end and summer is on its way is my mulberries are ripe and delicious. Yes, that's a rug that you see. We had puppy accidents on it, so I rolled it up last night or yesterday after all the rains and sprayed it down and gave it a good wash. So inside our coop here, um, I just picked up some heritage breed turkeys because the broad-breasted ones, those are only freezer birds. Like they're not gonna reproduce. They get too fat or too big and they just can't do the job unless you're gonna do like artificial insemination and all that stuff, which I'm not. So, <clears throat> um, so those are just going to be meat freezer birds, but seeing we liked the turkey so much, I wanted to get some heritage breed turkeys. So, um, found a guy the other day and he had some for sale. So we went and picked up these guys and let me move their little heat lamp and we'll see if we can get a shot in here. So I don't know if y'all will be able to see them or not. 
but in here we've got uh, bourbon reds and um, bourbon reds and I'm drawing a blank. <laughs> um, not Royal Palms. Uh, da, 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 da. I don't know. I'm going to have to get back to you on that one. Um, but we've got six bourbon reds and three of, oh, standard bronze. So um, those, I think, will be a good addition to the homestead. And they will reproduce. And they still get big. They just don't get big super fast like the meat turkeys do. And so in our coop, we finally, I think Bear did a video on this. I'm not sure if it's on <clears throat> his Patreon or um, YouTube. Lucy, quit rolling around in the poops. <laughs> uh, but we closed this off so chickens can't get up there and lay eggs anymore because you know, summer's here and I was not looking forward to climbing up in the rafters with 100 degree temps and humidity to get eggs. So we got this closed off and then I found there was a lady selling these nesting boxes for I think like 20 bucks a piece. And so we went and grabbed those and I am loving them because I've got a little stair chair here and I doubt we have any eggs oh yep and right in here and it's funny you know because they've got 20 boxes to choose from but yet they choose to lay in the same box of course so those that's our chicken additions and turkey additions and then down over this way. Oh, there's some more chickens over here. So we've rearranged our chickens and yeah, that can lend to some loss, but the back when our neighbor had several dogs, and they were just getting used to having chickens around. That was the primary loss that we had with our first round of chickens. Um, and so far with this round of chickens, again, it was the puppies that I think they ended up killing three or four before uh, they got enough beatings to realize no more chickens. Um, so over here, we've got our, they're probably not going to let me get too close. We've got our super noisy guineas right there. And oh my goodness, are they noisy. <laughs> like, <laughs> I was sitting out on the porch today drinking my coffee and I'm like, what is that god awful noise? Is that like something eating a chicken? What's going on? And I came outside and they were, cause we just moved them over here. Um, but they were, we had this closed off with a little curtain, um, trying to get them used to their new coop. And I guess this morning, they had gotten out of it and into the pen, which we were gonna let them do anyways. Um, but, God almighty, they were just a squawking, and <laughs> I'm like, I texted Bear, and I'm like, babe, you are gonna love the guinea cry. Just kidding, because he's probably gonna hate it, especially seeing they're right next to, his man, his man space, uh, where he tries to do videos. So 
he probably won't be too happy about that but they're only going to be in there for um we're figuring a couple of weeks just so they know that that's new home and then we'll let them free range because our primary purpose in getting them was to hopefully decimate our what seems to be ever increasing tick population um we've got we've got a ton of ticks and especially once you get out into the tall brushy areas it's just it's not fun and our hopes are to you know eventually get those areas trimmed down and a little bit more manicured but right now that's what we got so um and then some of y'all may have seen this new addition on our live stream last night but here we have got little bunny as aspen likes to call it so that's a i'm not sure if it's a lion's head or if it's a angora um because it's really really soft and it's not just poofy on its head it's kind of poofy and stringy everywhere so um and of course the atwoods where we got them from they didn't know so it'll be a surprise but that's just a pet we don't eat rabbits uh we used to before torah but now you know you don't eat things that go forth on paws so it's just a little pet and something for aspen to enjoy and so that's our livestock update and flock update we we are hoping uh the guy we got the bears home um the guy that we got the turkeys from um basically said right now he's got like 200 200 birds i think between turkeys and chickens and uh guineas so um but he also has uh nubian milking goats i believe and so our hopes are maybe we can work out a deal with him and get some milking goats soon and when we do they will go up to my grandma's i think we're gonna put them back there in the woods so i hope you guys enjoyed the update and uh You guys can do it you just got to get out there and do it and make a plan like we've figured out how much how much meat we need and you know yearly to sustain ourselves and that's the goal that we are working towards with all of these sheep and chickens and turkeys right now so get a goal in mind and then action plan it until you uh, achieve your results and it's going to be a learning process, but you can do it. So, shalom everybody.